Hi everyone. So let's start with our daily manna. So we memorized up to verse 7. Today we are going to memorize verse 8. So Hebrews chapter 1 verse 8. I'll first read that. Hebrews chapter 1 verse 8. But of the Son he says, Your throne, O God, is forever and ever. The righteous scepter is the scepter of your kingdom. But of the Son he says, Your throne, O God, is forever and ever. The righteous scepter is the scepter of your kingdom. So that is verse 8. So this is taken from Psalm 45. In fact, 8 and 9, both the verses are from Psalm 45. So I'll read both together, but we'll only memorize verse 8. Tomorrow we'll meditate on verse 9 because we are not rushing. We are not hurrying. We are going in a slow pace and studying uh, one verse a day, meditating on that, going in depth to that trying to understand the inner meanings, trying to find the correlation between different parts, the Old Testament correlation of this. So we are going in a very slow pace and we are we are trying to leave the words, right? So the word, once you memorize, it will start living in you, right? So that's what our, we are trying. So let's pray for that grace and let's go in a very slow pace memorizing this, okay? So 8 and 9, I'll read together. Uh, Hebrews chapter 1, 8 and 9. Both are taken from Psalm 45. But of the Son, he says, Your throne, O God, is forever and ever. The righteous scepter is the scepter of your kingdom. You have loved righteousness and hated lawlessness. Therefore, God, your God, has anointed you with the oil of gladness beyond your comrades. It's very beautiful, right? In fact, Psalm 45 is one of the most beautiful Psalms and it is one of my favorite Psalms. So I memorized it. So if I have to make a list of Psalms to memorize, Psalm 45 will be there on the top. That's my favorite Psalm. Why I like it so much is I told many times Song of Solomon is my favorite book. I've taken a class in Malayalam of Song of Solomon. So I covered that in four classes approximately one hour each right around four hours i've covered the entire song of solomon in malayalam so i that's my favorite book and when i read that right and when i read 45 i found a direct correlation there also it's about a bride and bridegroom here also we read about the royal wedding the bride is there bridegroom is there we are uh, we are uh, extolling the beauty of the bride and the bridegroom so I find a direct correlation between these two and that's one reason I like Psalm 45 very much because Song of Solomon is my favorite book and also I read the same in the Revelation when we see the wedding feast of the Lamb, right? So there is a direct correlation. So when you study these two verses, go to Psalm 45 and meditate on it, right? Don't try to memorize because that may take time. I memorized it because I like it so much but that we will do later. But just go and meditate. It will transport you to that heavenly realm and you'll start picturizing that. I will read that so that you'll understand what I'm trying to say. So it's a royal wedding, right? So the heading is Ought for a Royal Wedding. Uh, Psalm 45. My heart overflows with a goodly theme. I address my verses to the king. My tongue is like the pen of a ready scribe. You are the fairest of the sons of men. Grace is poured upon your lips. Therefore, God has blessed you forever. Gird your sword upon your thigh, O mighty one, in your glory and majesty. In your majesty, ride forth victoriously for the cause of truth and to defend the right. Let your right hand teach you dread deeds. Your arrows are sharp in the heart of king's enemies. The peoples fall under you. Your divine throne endures forever and ever. Your royal scepter is a scepter of equity. You love righteousness and hate wickedness. Therefore, God your God has anointed you with the oil of gladness above your fellows. Your robes are all fragrant with myrrh and aloes and cassia. From ivory palaces, stringed instruments make you glad. Daughters of kings are among your ladies of honor. At your right hand stands the queen in gold of Ophir. Hear, O daughter, consider and incline your ear. Forget your people and your father's house, and the king will desire your beauty. Since he is your lord, bow to him. The people of Tyre will court your favor with gifts, the richest of the people with all kinds of wealth. 
the daughter of the king is decked in her chamber with gold woven robes in many colored robes she is led to the king with her virgin companions her escort in her train with joy and gladness they are led along as they enter the palace of the king instead of your fathers shall be your sons you will make them princes in all the earth I will cause your name to be celebrated in all generations. Therefore, the people will praise you for ever and ever. So here, the author is uh, praising the beauty of the bride and the bridegroom. Right? You are the fairest of sons of men. Grace is poured upon you, poured upon your lips. So I am not going into the detail of all of that because it will take a uh, one hour at least to meditate on that. So we'll not go there, but. when you memorize this go back and meditate on psalm 45 it's one of the most beautiful psalms it has lot of inner meaning in that so god will reveal that to you when you meditate on that and it has a direct correlation with song of solomon and the book of revelation right so we'll just memorize verse 8 today but of the son he says your throne o god is forever and ever so yesterday while reading uh, from uh, not yesterday day before yesterday uh uh hebrews chapter 1 verse 5 i'll be to him a father and he shall be to me a son we said it's there in chronicles right 1 chronicles 17 13 so i was reading 17 and 14 right so there it says 1 chronicles 17 14 but i'll confirm him in my house and in my kingdom forever and his throne shall be established forever so his throne is a permanent uh, everlasting throne right it's an eternal throne he's an eternal ruler he's an everlasting ruler his kingdom is an everlasting kingdom hmm? so that is what we read here your uh, throne o god is forever and ever the righteous scepter is the scepter of your kingdom so he is ruling the universe with the, with righteousness so he established his kingdom in righteousness so he is a righteous king right so that is what we read the righteous scepter is the scepter of your kingdom so with this we'll stop today's meditation it's a very small verse it's taken from psalm 45 one of the most beautiful psalms when you memorize this go back and read psalm 45 even if you don't understand it just read that it's very beautiful then come back and memorize this so hebrews chapter 1 verse 8 but of the son he says your throne o god is forever and ever the righteous scepter is the scepter of your kingdom thank you god bless you all